visit the doctor. Well, I'm Dr. Dan, and it's so wonderful to be here. I'm a cardiologist, which means that I'm a doctor that takes care of people's hearts. What does your heart do? Well, that's a great question. So your heart is a very important organ, which means it's a part of the body that's made up of lots of different cells that work together to do something. And what the heart does is it pumps blood throughout your entire body so that your body can be nice and strong and do all the activities and do all the things that you want Why it to do. Well, just like a car needs gas to work or your radio needs electricity to work, your body also needs all sorts of energy. And blood has lots of things that make the body healthy and make the body work very well and it gives energy to all the different areas of your body. Where is your heart in your body? Great. So your heart, for most people, the heart is on the left side of your body. So if you can, take your right hand. Go, take your right hand. Everyone take their right hand. Let's just find my... Your right hand, your right hand, your right hand, your right hand. I'm on, I know my right hand. Take your right hand and go across your chest onto your left side and you might be able to feel your heart beating inside your body. If you don't, please talk to me. <laughs> your heart beats every single day of your entire life. When does your heart beat faster or slower? Well, your heart responds to what your body needs. So, for example, if you were to get up and run in place. Now feel your heart, just like we showed you. Do you feel it going faster? Any time your, your body demands more from your heart, the heart will beat faster. So for example, let's say it's a really hot day and you're sweating so much and you're kind of dehydrated, there isn't a lot of fluid in your body, your heart will beat faster. Or let's say you're sick and you're home and you have the flu. In that setting, your heart will beat faster. Or let's say you're at yeah, recess, or you're afraid on stage, like at a Sidor party, because you're Whoa. nervous, there's so many people watching, your heart might beat faster. It's good. Sometimes it makes your heart beat faster. That's a great question. So everyone, it's really important that everyone t takes time, most days of every week, to do something active. Because your body will be much healthier if you move around, and do some sort of activity. And it can be anything you like. It can be basketball, it can be dance, it can be swimming, just something where for about 30 minutes, at least five times a week, you get a lot of activity. Do you your heart, because it forces blood into all your blood vessels really strongly with each beat, you can feel something called a pulse which is in a bunch of different places in the body. Some people can feel a pulse in their wrist. So put your hands like this. And on the thumb side of your wrist, feel for a pulse right below where your hand meets your arm. I feel can anybody feel it? No. I feel like ooh. You can take two fingers, uh, go on the thumb. thumb side of your wrist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Do you see, feel anything feel beating? Like, I only feel it in my neck. Other people can feel it in their neck, or at the top of their leg, or in their feet. What do you listen for with your stethoscope? That's a great question. So let me show you guys, okay? Can I have a volunteer, Karen? Thank you so, so much. So <laughs> a stethoscope has a few different parts. You have the parts that go in your ear, so you can hear really well. And then you have the other end of the stethoscope, which usually has two sides, but it can have three sides or one side. And this part goes on the child's chest so you can hear the heart really so well. So what we're going to do is put the stethoscope in our ears. Okay, we can do it. And we're going to take the edge of the stethoscope. One side is called the bell, one side is called the diaphragm. And we're going to go to the left side of your chest and we're going to listen. 
And what you're going to hear is a doop, 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 doop. And those sounds are the valves of the heart closing. There are four valves in your heart, and two close together, and then the other two close together. And we can hear those valves closing. So what a doctor is doing is he or she is checking to make sure that all of the doors, all of the valves in your heart are opening and closing How nicely. How can I keep my heart strong? I like where you're going with that question. So what you want to do is get a lot of exercise, listen to your parents and eat really good healthy food, make sure you go to the doctor and listen to the advice that your doctor gives you, get nice rest every night, and, and, and not too much TV and computers. Well, it is so wonderful to see beautiful, healthy children, and I want to thank you guys for coming to our office today. Okay.